In this video we're going to explore cloud security and that's because over the last few years we've seen an escalating sophistication and frequency of cyber attacks including advanced persistent threats, ransomware, specifically targeting cloud infrastructure. Therefore you can use today's video as a project or just a lesson on how to implement best practice especially around a Linux cloud server. But first to implement today's video we're going to be using UpCloud. Now UpCloud is a high performance cloud infrastructure provider offering scalable and reliable cloud servers. Their platform is designed to support everyone from developers to new startups as they have a very easy to use interface. After watching the walkthrough or even if you want to do something alongside me, head to the link in the description and use the code iMentor50 as they've been kind enough to give us this code to allow you guys to have a seven day free trial alongside a max of three servers, which is more than enough for the projects and the things that we'll be talking about today. So what exactly are we going to be doing? Well, the first thing is monitoring logins, because if you've ever had a server up and running for even a day, you've most likely already had failed login attempts originating from IP addresses other than your own and the majority of Linux distributions keep logs for authentication from the moment they are booted up for the first time. So that's one part that we're going to dive into. Secondly, we're going to then focus on vulnerabilities. This is because an important part of securing a cloud server is to not leave open any unnecessary network services that are listening for incoming connections. A newly deployed Linux system usually only has SSH port 22 open and you can test your own server by scanning for open ports using a network tool named Nmap, which we'll look into at the end of the video. There are many other ways to secure a cloud server, including things like scanning for malware. However, we'll leave that for future videos if you're interested in that type of security. The third thing we'll then look to focus on is a common security measure for any networked computer, which will restrict connections which are allowed. This can be achieved using a firewall. A network security system that basically monitors and controls incoming and outgoing traffic based on predetermined rules. And within the UpCloud control panel, which you'll see shortly, they provide an easy to configure firewall that serves as a first line of defense for your cloud server. So if it's something you're not really used to, it's very easy for you to configure. The firewall is specific to each server. However, you can easily copy settings between the servers. And you can even choose from pre-made firewall rules that are available in the app cloud panel and it's a really good starting point for further customization. So let's start to put this into practice and see how you can make sure your cloud server is secure following best practice. We'll jump into number one which is logon monitoring. Now we're starting from the point when our server has already been deployed and if you need help on that I have a video which I've done already which will be linked in the banner above on how to actually deploy your server on UpCloud if you need more information. However let's go straight for now into logon monitoring. So as I mentioned before the majority of Linux distributions keep logs for authentication from the moment that they booted up for the first time. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the log file that contains the security related messages. And that will include login attempts, authentication failures, and other security related events. And we're going to look for anything that matches the word invalid. The output will list all the dates and times when the invalid login attempts occurred, which user accounts were used, and from what IP addresses. If we want to see the successful login attempts, all we need to do is type in last. And that will allow us to check our successful login times. And it will print these last few login times, dates, and IP addresses the connections originated from. So you can see it's very easy and we can easily go through all the invalid connections to see where they're coming from and what they're connecting with through which ports. So a really good way to monitor what exactly is going on and if you need to take any actions against your server to make sure it's secure. For example, if you need to block a specific IP address, you can do that. Or if you need to block with specific firewall rules, you can keep watching in the video and see how we will do that through the UpCloud console. Moving on to number two, we have vulnerabilities. So first we'll need to enable the extra packages for Enterprise Linux repository, as it contains many additional packages, including what we'll be using, which is Nmap. Once the repository is enabled, you can install Nmap using the DNF package manager. 
if you need any help, the description will contain the information to a helpful guide on what you need to do. And after the installation is complete, you can verify that Nmap is installed and check its version by running the specific command. This command should output the version of Nmap that's installed, confirming the installation was successful, as that's what we need to do to make sure everything has been done successfully before we try to run Nmap. You can see all this being completed on the screen in front of you, and we can just easily go ahead and start to use Nmap after we've confirmed the version, which we've already now done. Next, we'll use our server's public IP to scan, and the printout will list a number of ports and services that are associated with them and if they're currently open for local connections, which you can see here as we've now completed this task. This is where you'll want to know what ports are open for open connections, as you may want to make sure some are closed for security related reasons. We can see that port 22 TCP is open for SSH, which is what we would expect from deploying this server for the first time. And if you're seeing anything that shouldn't be open, you know that you can go ahead to close it. That then nicely takes us on to the third task that we have, which will be looking into configuring a firewall. So you can see we are now on the AppCloud platform, which you should also be able to get to once you've clicked the link in the description. If, however, you're already familiar with Linux servers, you'll know they have a built-in solution called IP tables, which is included in most distributions. However, as I mentioned before, the AppCloud control panel offers an easy-to-configure firewall, which is what we'll be going through. So once you head to the relevant firewall section, you can see all you need to do to get started is enable the firewall. You can then view incoming traffic rules and outgoing traffic rules. So we'll easily enable the firewall just by selecting the button that we have here and that will take a few seconds to buffer and we there, we are already enabled. We All we need to do is head to add rule and we can easily start to configure the settings that we need. You have multiple options in terms of what you need to do but if you're not too sure you can go to import pre-made rules and this is where you can click on any profile to implement exactly the rules you need. So what we're going to do is only SSH allowed. And you can see all the pre-made rules have been added into our incoming traffic rules. We have source ports, target addresses, target ports, and the action in terms of deny or accept. And we can easily move these up in turn in terms of priority or bin these off if they're not required. So whether you're an expert or you're a complete beginner, best practice and keeping your servers secure is one of the most important things especially if you're looking at jobs in cloud server security or just cloud security in general. So head down to the description, click the link and give it a go. If you've enjoyed the video, do leave a like down below. It massively helps the channel out. And if you need any help in terms of working through this project or just in general for cloud security, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you need more help, you can also look to join our Discord or if it's anything UpCloud specific, their support is really easy to reach and they're honestly one of the best when it comes to helping you out to achieve your objective. So if you need any help with that, all the information will be in the description below.